Hey guys, it's Miss Bell here again in the science lab, and I'm here to talk to you about density. Dun, da, da, da. So we're going to take some measurements for our irregular shaped objects, and the two I'm going to be using today are my really pretty rock and my Lego piece. This is Dwight from the office. So we're going to be figuring out the mass and the volume in order to figure out the density. With my rock, when I placed it on the triple beam balance, just like so. It went all the way to the 50, and then it went all the way to the 8, and then it went a little bit more. It went to the 0.1 spot after 8. So there were no hundreds. There were 50 tens, and there was 8 point one on my ones uh, writer right here. So my total in grams for the mass of my rock was 58.1 grams. Now for my Lego piece, Mr. Dwight over here, uh, we had a little bit of a smaller mass for him. So that was no hundreds, no tens, three point six to be exact so my total uh, mass for my Lego piece is three point six grams so when I did my measurements on my rock I started with a certain amount in my graduated cylinder so the water went all the way up 150 milliliters but when I dropped my rock into my graduated cylinder, it rose up to 172 milliliters. So I have my beginning volume and I have my ending volume. And I'm trying to figure out that little bit of difference because that tells me the volume of my rock. So I start with my ending volume, which we said was 172. I'm going to subtract my beginning volume, which we know was 150. And that leaves me with 22 milliliters. And that's the volume of my rock. However, with the volume of my Lego piece, I started my beginning volume of my liquid at 40 milliliters. I used a smaller graduated cylinder. And then I plopped him in and the water level rose up to only about 43 milliliters. So there's not that big of a difference. 43 milliliters. We subtract the beginning volume to get our volume of our object, which is only three milliliters. All right, so for my rock, so we're able to plug in our mass and our volume into our formula. So it would look like 58.1 grams over 22 milliliters. We would do some handy dandy calculations and that would lead us to know that the density is 2.64 grams per milliliter. And with our Lego Dwight piece over here, and you know that the density of my Lego piece comes out to 1.2 grams per milliliter. And for my regular shaped objects that we're going to find the density for, I'm going to use the cube and a rectangular prism. With my cube, I'm going to grab my ruler and I'm going to measure one side. We know with the cube, that all sides should be equal. So here's three centimeters. If I flip it over, that will be three centimeters. If I twist it this way, that'll be three centimeters. So my length, my width, and my height are all three centimeters. And we know with our formula, length times width times height 
we should be able to go 3 times 3 times 3, or the same thing as 3 cubed. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27. So my volume is 27 meters cubed. Don't forget that cubed because you're taking three lengths and you're multiplying them together. Now with my rectangular prism, so my length is 8, my width and my height are 2. You could change them as such because it depends on kind of how you're viewing it on what is length times, what is your length, what is your width, what is your height. But our formula would look something like this. 8 times 2 times 2, or length times width times height. 8 and 2 is 16. 16 is 2 is 32. And so our volume is 32 centimeters cubed. So when measuring the mass of my cube, I placed it on my triple beam balance. I moved the riders over to where it leveled off and it read for me I had 1, 10 and then in my 1's it went to 8.1 and so when I added all those up together I had a mass of 18.1 grams. Now for my rectangular prism I placed it on the triple beam balance and then I read what the measurements were. No hundreds, 20, 4, or sorry, 22.4, silly Ms. Bell. So that means my total mass was 22 and 4 tenths grams. So then I can take my mass and my volume and I can do some further calculations. And I can use my brain or a calculator and figure out that the density is 0.7 grams per centimeters cubed. Now with my cube, I have my mass. I have my volume. I can now plug those measurements into my formula for density. And when I do those calculations, that division, I know that my density of my cube is 0.67 grams per centimeters cubed. And that is rounded to the nearest hundredth. And when I'm trying to measure the density of items that are liquids, I'm going to be playing around with honey and water. So I'll need to find the mass of each of these liquids and the volume in order to figure out the density. All right, so when measuring the mass of our liquid, we're going to have to use a triple beam balance and some sort of empty container. First, you're going to need to measure the mass of just that container. So with my honey, I placed my cup on the triple beam balance, and it had a beginning mass of 5 grams. Then I added my honey to it. So now I'm measuring the mass of both the cup and the honey. So that collected mass of the cup and the honey came out to 16.5 grams. But I'm only wanting to measure the mass of just my honey and not the cup. So I'm going to have to use some subtraction. I'm going to have to take the end mass and subtract the beginning mass and that um, subtraction will give me the mass of just my honey. And 16.5 minus 5 will give me 11.5 grams and that's for my honey. Now with my water bottle, again I took the measurement of the mass 
for just my container and I used a different container and I began with a mass of 4.8 grams for just my container. Then I poured it, my water inside and that mass of my filled container came out to be 5 point or I'm sorry 54.8 uh, grams or 54 and 8 tenths grams and that leaves me with um, the mass of my liquid water which in this case 54.8 minus 4.8 leads me with 50 grams for my water. Now with measuring the volume of my liquids, I started with my honey and what I did was I just opened it and kind of poured that thick gooey gooey honey into a graduated cylinder. It only went about um, 7.5 milliliters high in one of my graduated cylinders. However, with my water, I used the same amount that I poured into the cups when I measured um, my mass, but with my water, it rose all the way up into 50 milliliters. So the volume for my honey was only 7.5, whereas the volume for my water was 50 milliliters. Okay, so when measuring for the mass and the volume of my honey, so I have my volume, or sorry, my mass and my volume, and I just input those two numbers into my formula. So it would look like 11.5 grams divided by 7.5 milliliters and that would give me a volume of 1.53 grams per milliliter. And that would give me a density of one gram per milliliter for my water. Here we are putting all those calculations and measurements that we just took into practice and we're going to see if our calculations were correct and precise because when I place all six of these items in my container they should be able to sit or sink or float um, wherever I rank them from the most dense at the bottom to the least dense the ones that are floating at the top so at first I'm going to start with some water here we go then I'm going to add some honey. Now I know I use my yummy uh, honey packets from churches, but I only have one left, so I'm going to use this honey. Whoa, as you can see, it's all the way at the bottom. So we were correct in saying that honey is denser than water because it's sinking down. Now I'm going to add my rock. Here we go. Don't plop water on me. Ah, all the way down to the bottom. You know what? I'm going to add some more honey. Man, this is so fun. The rock is underneath the honey. It's not trying to pop up on top of the honey because the rock is denser than the honey. Let me add my Lego man. Dwight! Oh, it's floating. Mmm, interesting, interesting. Now I'm going to add my cube floating as well. And I'm going to add my rectangular prism. Here we go. Now the container is a bit tight and you have three items floating at the top, but they're all floating. They're not going down um, to the honey. Density, science, math, going hand in hand together. How cool is that? <laughs> Bye guys.